We're all lazy. Often, we avoid things we know are good for us. We just want an easy way out, so our minds hate the bitter pills. Always. But many of the disease in our personal lives won't go away until we use the bitter pills. And that's why only a few among us are happy, wealthy, and successful. While I am an idiot like most people, I sometimes figure out how to discipline myself to do things I ought to do. Even if those things are difficult, not all the time but many times. And that's why in today's video, I want to share with you some simple strategies I use and I hope some of them will help you. For those of you who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel since we had 10k subscribers, now that we are close to a million subs, we are ready to let you see and meet the mind behind this channel. Simply check the description box below to meet me on my new channel. Now to the business of the day. Do what you hate together with what you love. I hate to work out even though my exercise is extremely simple. Walking. But there's one thing I love, like my eyes, and that's books. I love books. What if I can figure out how to combine working out with reading? That's exactly what I started doing. I would choose an audiobook and put on my earpiece, then get out to walk. All the time I spend working out, I would focus extensively on the book. I love books. I love learning new things, so focusing on what I'm learning while doing exercise means I won't see myself doing exercise. I'll see myself reading and learning and this means that my silly mind will enjoy it and want to come back for it tomorrow. I think you can apply this to many areas of your life. Let's say you hate cooking but you love music. There you go. Play your favorite playlist and get to the kitchen. Dance and sing aloud. Enjoy the music while you're doing the silly thing you hate. This way, your mind will not know that you are cooking. It thinks that you are dancing all day and by tomorrow, if you need to repeat that, I promise you won't have any problems cooking. Let's say you are like every one of us. You know that there is knowledge in books and you should be reading but the demon inside your phone called social media won't allow you time to read. At the same time, you like talking a lot and you have friends you talk with. Now, you can defeat your demon. Ask your friends to let you start reading a book each month then you'll talk every week on the phone about what you've read in the book. This way, you're reading because you want to talk. You'll be doing what you hate because of what you love and your mind will associate reading with talking and if you don't have a friend who is willing to read with you, then you probably don't have any friends in the first place. I'm not a psychologist but I think this formula works. Do what you hate together with what you extremely love to do and your mind won't struggle to do what you ought to do. Take out only one hour to do it. A prison is a terrible place. Nobody wants to be there except those who have become chiefs. But let's say someone asks you to be in prison for an hour. Just one hour. Wouldn't you rather see that as an opportunity to learn a new thing about how people in another world live and operate? Suddenly, you want to be where you never want to be. I use this same trick for myself every day. Whenever I want to do things I know my mind may not want to do, which are usually the things I should do, I simply tell myself, silly guy, you only need to do this for an hour and get out to doing whatever you like, even if that is watching cat videos on YouTube. It worked for me like magic and I know it will work for you. You see, our brain doesn't want to do difficult things because it sees it as eternal pain. If we can make it represent those things we want to do with new words, if we can tell our brain that it's only for an hour or half an hour, we suddenly start seeing the prison as temporary. And because almost everyone can endure prison for an hour, it becomes 10 times easier to do what we ought to do. Let me take my favorite example here. Books. Even though I love reading, many times the demon inside of me doesn't want to sit down with boring pages. So I simply tell myself, you see, you just have to do this for an hour and get out to do whatever you want. Suddenly, I see that one hour is not much and I can just endure it. Tell me whatever you hate doing and you might be able to use this technique to get them done each time you have to. To help you further, use your phone to set a timer. I do this even for the things I love doing. I would set my timer for three hours whenever I sit down to work. This helps me to concentrate 
because I know that I only have three hours to get the work done. Do it first thing in the morning. I love morning, early morning. The reason why I love it is that all the demons in the world are asleep, so you can get your work done before they wake up. Your phone is the host of such demons. The social media notifications that seem urgent even though they are not, the emails that seem important even though they are not, calls that seem you must answer even though you can always call those people back, friends, family and colleagues at work who just can't keep their mouth shut. Our days are filled with demons and this weakens us so much that we don't have the energy to do real things that require a lot of energy. Early morning is the solution. When you wake up earlier than most people, you can keep your phone in perpetual silence. Your friends are not awake, your family members are dreaming and you have in front of you that thing you hate to do and since you have all your energy with you, you can crush that guy very easily. Set a simple daily goal. Every night or let me say, most nights when I am about to sleep, I open my phone and go to the note app on it. There's a note I title, To Do. All I want to do is to write one very important thing I must do tomorrow. Two important things and maybe two other simple things like replying emails or something. This works like magic because your mind hates to find itself breaking a commitment. When you set a simple goal for yourself for tomorrow, you will not only wake up energized, your mind will hate to see at the end of the day it looks like a failure. So you are likely to do what is important if you set a simple goal to do them. Another thing you have to do here is doing the most important thing first because that's what is likely to be more difficult and oftentimes when you crush the most important thing, the angel within you feels like you can crush everything else and boom, you win your day. Here's what I've shared with you so far. Do what you hate to do together with what you love to do and concentrate on enjoying what you love. Separate just one hour to do what you don't want to do and your mind will see that hour as something very easy to endure. Face your enemy, first thing in the morning, he's probably sleeping so you can crush him before he knows it. Set a simple daily goal that comprises three things you must accomplish and your mind will want to impress you by getting them done. For those of you who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel since when we had 10,000 subscribers, now that we are close to a million subs, we are ready to let you see and meet the mind behind this channel. Simply check the description box below to meet with me on my personal channel. We love you.